ओके एवरी वन सो आई एम गोइंग टू मेक अ वीडियो सीरीज दैट वुड कवर बेसिकली के स्टडीज ऑफ ए एस लेवल इकनॉमिक्स स्टार्टिंग फ्राम जून टू थाउजेंड एटीन टू नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज इफ यू स्टे इन टच टिल एग्जाम एंड डेफिनेटली यू विल बेनिफिट अ लॉट फ्राम दिस वीडियोज सो आई विल बी गिविंग यू द लिस्ट ऑफ प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियोज एज वेल and similarly uh, if you want to get this book this, this basically contains a lot of case studies that have been completely solved and they are easily available online as well and i will give you the link of these books uh, all of my books in the in the description as well you can go there and you can purchase whatever is needed to you so i will be making videos for as as well as a2 and Uh, as as a first attempt for 2 3 4 days i will be making videos only for case studies of as level economics so i believe you will benefit out of them and uh, these video series will contain videos from june 2018 papers to to november 2021 so this is the first video you can see on the screen right now uh, i can move the screen slowly you can take screenshot of this page and uh afterwards you can you can read it carefully so that you understand whatever is written here and afterwards uh i'm showing you the questions of this case study now and before solving these questions you must read the case study given above okay so i will uh suggest all of you to stop the video read these questions carefully and then listen what i'm saying and then try to relate them so the first question part a sub part 1 says calculate the level of aggregate demand in thailand in 2014 so this is one mark question it means you need not to explain anything just calculate aggregate demand using formula aggregate demand is equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m c stand for consumption by the consumers i is investment g is government expenditure x is export and m is import if we move back to the case study we can see a table here and the table clearly shows that these are category of expenditure that is uh, first one is household consumption that is c uh, so this is c and th these are percentages you can examiner may ask for the percentage Uh, of national exp expenditure as well currently is asking about the absolute figure of aggregate demand so we can just add these things so household is uh, consumption is c capital goods is i i stand for investment means purchase of capital goods is investment government expenditure is g and x stand for export and m stand for import so we will add these four elements then we will deduct imports from them So what you have to simply do is uh, add two forty three plus ninety eight plus sixty nine plus two eighty, and then deduct two fifty three, and afterwards you will get answer four thirty seven billion U S dollars. So this is the answer for this question. Okay. So now moving to again, you can stop the video and verify using calculator. Okay. So the second part of question A is. in which category of expenditure would the various infrastructure projects be placed infrastructure projects are basically long term projects and long term projects are the part of capital expenditure so you can say that um, various infrastructure projects will be placed in the cate category of capital expenditure or capital goods so this will basically help you get one mark for this question now moving to part b sub part 1 and then definitely for sub part 2 explain how a fall in interest rate would be likely to affect expenditure on consumption and expenditure on exports consumption refers to the purchase of uh, purchase of goods and services that are needed to the households on routine basis like purchase of food fuel and clothing and export means selling something to some other country So first of all you must know that what will be the impact of fall in interest rate interest rate is basically interest is the extra amount of money that we have to pay on the principal amount if we get loan from financial institution 
and this is the additional amount which we receive if we uh, save money in bank account so fall in interest rate encourages people to get more loans from the financial institution because getting loan is real relatively cheaper now and similarly if interest rate is low then people will be reluctant to save money in bank account because they think that is it is not rewarding for keeping money in the bank account so as a result saving will fall and spending will rise so consumption will increase so whenever there is fall in interest rate you will have to say that it will increase consumption and then you will have to give justification for three marks question you have to give knowledge and application for two marks one mark knowledge two marks application knowledge is you will say that fall in interest rate increases consumption so this is knowledge by writing this statement you will get one mark but if you explain it further you will get two marks how will you explain it you will say that when interest rate is low uh, investors will be uh, consumers will be comfortable getting loans from financial institutions and they will be reluctant to save money in the bank account so as a result they will spend more and consumption will increase so it will give you for uh, complete three marks for this question now moving to part sub part two of part b fall in interest rate will increase export expenditure or export revenue on one hand on other hand it may decrease so you may say anything you may say that fall in interest rate will increase export expenditure or exp export earning uh, because when interest rate is low uh, now you will have to give justification for that as well if interest rate is low definitely it decreases demand for demand for a certain currency and increases supply of that currency so as a result that currency will depreciate and depreciation of currency results in deck and die deck and die basically stand for depreciation makes exports cheaper so price of exports will fall depreciation makes imports expensive so price of imports will rise so when price of export is falling and we assume that demand for exports is elastic then there will be a dramatic increase in demand for export so ex as a result export expenditure or export earning will increase but on the other hand we can also say that if demand for exports is inelastic then fall in price of exports will decrease export revenue or export expenditure so it's up to you you may go either way so you can uh, consider whether it is elastic or inelastic so for three marks question again you will have to give one mark knowledge and two marks application one mark knowledge is fall in interest rate will decrease let's suppose you say decrease export revenue yeah export expenditure yeah you may say that fall in interest rate will increase export expenditure uh, then you will have to basically assume uh, the elasticity of demand if you say that fall in interest rate will increase export revenue you will get one mark then you will have to give the justification for that and justification for that will be that the demand for exports is elastic so a little fall in price of export will increase demand for export dramatically so as a result export earning or export revenue will increase now moving to part c of this question explain how changes in any three demand factors might so the stress of this question is three demand factors might account for the greater rate of growth in number of visitors into thailand from china than from other countries so um, again stop the video read the question carefully and try to understand what examiner is actually asking and then you will find it really simple question generally what happens is students don't understand what question is asking in case studies it happens frequently so uh, but don't worry about that i will i will be making a lot of videos for you so that you can understand how to tackle each and every question of case study so the stress of this question is on three factors so uh, i can comprehend this question you can read it yourself as as well try to understand and then listen what i'm saying so this question is saying that why people from china are visiting thailand why more people are of china are visiting thailand than any other country so you have to basically justify your explanation using three demand factors all of you must know that demand factors include like change in income taste and fashion weather population taste and trends and then you can say weather so i can consider these three factors but there are a lot of other factors as well 
so examiner is requiring three factors so i will explain these three factors whether income taste and trends so we assume that people from china might be visiting thailand uh, because the weather condition in thailand is better than that of china so people will find it really uh, worthwhile going there and visiting there and enjoying the weather better weather there and then is income uh, income is basically uh, the amount of money you earn and it determines the purchasing power of consumers so people from china might be visiting thailand most often because of rise in income there might be rise in income of these consumers these people uh, chinese people so their purchasing power will increase and they will be more inclined to visit other countries including thailand as well so demand for thailand yeah people coming from china to thailand would be greater uh, as compared to other countries because the income of chinese people is increasing so this is one reason so you may you may consider any other reason as well so taste and trends is another factor demand factor that can be really relevant to this situation so there might be something going on in thailand as per the taste and trends of chinese people so chinese people will love to go there and they will spend their money and they will spend their time with families and friends there so demand for uh, tourists from china to thailand will definitely increase okay so now moving to part d last part of this question discuss whether thailand's government should be concerned that export and import spending represents the highest proportion of total spending in thailand so again questions are very blurry like a london smoke um if you understand the question then definitely you will find answering them simple they their answers are really simple but but questions are complicated complicated so examiner makes them blurry so that you can basically think about that what question is asking okay so in this question i can help you again you can stop the video read it carefully and try to understand what examiner is saying then listen what i'm saying okay so now uh the stress of the question is whether government should be concerned so we have to find out what kind of concern government should have concern means should government be worried about what is happening here or not okay so government uh, the scenario is ke uh, the government of thailand should be concerned or worried if its main spending is basically export and import mean it is exposed to international trade its main reliance is on international trade so it is uh, mainly importing and exporting so should government be worried about that you can say on one hand it need not to be worried and it it need not to have any kind of concern about it because it is earning huge amount of money from export because tourist tourism industry is uh flourishing there and a lot of people are visiting there to spend money and to basically visit there and uh, they they will be basically uh, so they will be adding to the gdp of the country so export earning will increase balance of payment will improve and economic growth will occur employment will occur in uh, in thailand basically if people are coming from other countries they are spending there so all of them all, all of these factors will improve the condition of thailand so government should not be worried about um, if it is basically its main reliance is on exports and imports but on the other hand since this, this is discuss question for discuss question you have three requirements one is you have to give points for uh, in favor of the statement you have to give points against the statement then you have to give conclusive statement as well so one mark is reserved for conclusion in this d part question six mark question here so you can say that government should not be concerned because it is earning huge amount through exports and you can give justifications for that you can relate to the data as well you can pick figures from there because uh, figures are given how much export it is doing so uh, it will improve standard of living there as well but it should be concerned on the other hand you will have to say that it should be concerned if it's more reliances on exports and imports because uh, if there is any kind of problem and it it distorts the connection between countries it uh, it makes it difficult to import and export from other countries and definitely it will be tough for uh, thailand to manage the needs and wants of the uh, of its generation 
so then what will happen is they would not be able to satisfy their basic needs and wants you may relate it to the example of covid 19 like in covid 19 um, there were no flights coming and going from countries so it was really tough for the people to move from one country to another country and same was the case with goods if uh, there is no connection between countries then how you can get goods from other countries or how you can export your goods to other countries even tourists tourists don't come to your country if there is covid or any kind of uh, other natural disaster or uh, climate calamities or there is any kind of spread of disease or virus or anything there may be sometimes political ill will between the countries and there may be any any kind of natural disaster wars between countries as well so it makes uh, difficult to import and export so as a result it should be should be concerned then you should give its conclusion as well and as a conclusion you can say that uh, definitely uh, it is very good source of earning for thailand however it would be better if it diversifies and it focuses on other industries as well so that it can um, it can be basically more diversified it can be self-sufficient and in its reliance on other countries reduces so it will be better for it would be better for thailand to uh, diversify and produce a wide range of goods uh, within the country in instead of focusing on more on imports and exports so you can give conclusion like this so uh, at the end i would show you the answers of these questions and you can take picture of these as well you can get this book online as well uh, i will give you the link in description and you can go there in order just to get it immediately so these are the answers you can see on the screen i'm showing my screen slowly so that you so that you can uh, take screenshots and you can uh, see what are the answers for all of these questions so this is part c and then part d and part d is a big bit long answer uh, so i can zoom out okay so you can take screenshot of this part as well and then read it carefully and i believe you will understand them if there is any issue and you are unable to understand any point then write in the comment box i will definitely get back to you as early as possible so see you with the next video soon thank you